The base of my Anglo-Italian trifle is just good shop-bought trifle sponges wadged together with blackcurrant jam to make little sandwiches. I've used a whole packet, that's eight sponges, but it's so difficult to say with trifle because it isn't really about quantity, it's about layering and this is what fits into the base of this bowl. That's the Brit base on top, an Italianate sprinkling of, look, these Amaretti biscuits, which I've just processed to a rubble, not too fine and sandy, to sprinkle over. Mmm, wonderful, hey, almondy. Now, on top of the biscuits and the sponges, mm. another Italian note, this time sounded by some lemon liqueur. I mean, only because whenever I go on holiday, I come back with some odd drink or other, and this one is delicious. But if you haven't got any and don't want to buy some, then use rum or whatever you want. Rum's very good in this. Okay, 150 millilitres, which is, I suppose, you know, a good glassful. I mean, you, I don't think even I would drink this much, but still. Just pour over. Mmm, telling everything to... Mmm, citrusy sludge. And now, the only bit of cooking this trifle involves, I mean, normally you have to make a custard, I've spared you that, is just heating up some jam, not even cooking, and a bit of a squeeze of lemon. Just because I think when you have sugary stuff, you need sharp taste just to counter it. And then, once this has melted slightly, it's just a question of tumbling in. Look at these luscious black fruits. Mm. 750 grams I've got here, but it doesn't really matter. Just heat the blackberries just until the juices start running out. I don't want to turn these to mush. I just want them to be more of a glossy compote than single clumpy fruits. I love blackberries, I have to say. Just blackberries sprinkled with a teeny bit of vanilla sugar and a huge swathe of double cream. I mean, I could have that for supper throughout the summer. So beautiful how these berries turn to glossy jet. Look at them winking at us. And the way they peek out under their blanket of white mascarpone later. Now on top, a layer of, I don't know how to describe it, it's almost like cheesecake mousse, mascarpone whipped with some egg and 100 grams of caster sugar. Just pour half of that, or thereabouts, into the yolks, and put them aside for one minute. The whites in here. Okay, this is not going to be at all interesting, but it has to be done. Now, I want to sprinkle in a bit of sugar into these frothy whites. They're nearly stiff enough. I don't want them really dry, just firm and frothed to give a bit of lightness to the mascarpone. Okay, so we're on to stage two with our eggs. So the two egg yolks with the sugar just need whisking until they're mm, yellow and frothy. Doesn't take long. And then, a good slurp, about three spoonfuls of limoncello into that. Okay, so, a lot of mascarpone, I know, about 750 grams here. Beautiful, luscious and creamy. Just fold it in. Mmm, good sounds. And now, the egg whites. Don't be scared of egg whites. You know, don't think that you have to be so gentle or everything will go wrong. It won't. In fact, I'm going to do a bit of very, very brisk beating. Now, I like to have a teeny bit more of the lemon liqueur in just to bring everything together at the end. I mean, the thing about putting drink in is it really it's up to you how strong you want it. I think it's the lemonness of the liqueur which helps make this redolent of cheesecake, which is never a bad thing. Okay, now just blanket over. It's more like a duvet, isn't it? 
See, this makes everything so simple. The point about trifle is it's the ideal pudding to make when you've got a lot of people pitching up because you just wouldn't make this for a small group because it isn't worth doing in a teeny weeny bowl. And now, what I'm going to do tomorrow is sprinkle with the remaining bit of amaretti rubble and a few toasted flaked almonds. This just has to go into the fridge till then. If I had to start making a pudding at this stage of the proceedings, I really would lose it. But the good thing about the trifle is, well, there's nothing much to do now. I've done everything yesterday. All I want to do now is toast some flaked almonds, by which I mean fry them in an oilless pan until they go brown and golden. But you don't even have to bother with this if you don't want to. You can use just the rubble of mushed up amaretti biscuits left over from yesterday. But I like the mixture of Anglo almond and Italian almond. But this is the pièce de résistance. Hello, darling. Look. Beautiful trifle. That day in the fridge really lets it all get lusciously firm and everything melds together. Just want to dive in at this stage. Perfect. Needs nothing more than its final sprinkling. But what I love about this trifle is the wonderful contrast between all that spongy goldenness and then the deep red from the blackberries oozing out and down against the mascarpone and eggs. Mm. Now these should be ready now. Lovely and golden. I love this final sprinkling. It's not just the goldenness, which I think is necessary, but that touch of crunch and the contrast with the mascarpone cream underneath. Beautiful. Right, on my tray and triumphantly gardenwoods. <laughs>